And he's hoping to go home, and then the bracket resets, oh. and he's just like, damn, man, I guess I'm going to go to sleep <laughs> at 3 in the morning I could have had today. 15 more minutes. Yeah, I guess I'm going to sleep at 3 in the morning. But, yeah, definitely, like, always think of local TOs and stream runners, honestly. Yeah. It's 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 not a dirty job, but it's a job that, you know, someone's got to do it, and they try to make sure it's, they get the best of done for you. It's a job. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. It's, being a firefighter is thankless at times. I'm not a firefighter, but I can definitely Exactly tell you. the same. Yeah. Okay, a being a teacher is, a, at times, a thankless job here. Yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, coaches. Coaches? Yeah. I feel like people remember the coach. Like, you know, people people go back in high school and be like, I remember my coach. You know, he taught me a lot about in life and game. But, like, and definitely people – I mean, let's be honest. Some of you, some people don't even like their teachers or their professors yeah. in general. So They would ditch their classes just to go hang out with the <laughs> coach. <laughs> exactly, right? So, I mean, we'll speak about, speak about teaching and uh, thankless jobs, man. Guts and Doughboy, they will have the thankless job of being the first two victims on the screen. <laughs> Hopefully, someone who walks away with a W here, we'll see who it's going to be here. Uh, it looks like they're going to go ahead and gentleman PS2. Now, I will tell you guys right now, I'm trying to preach this here. Never, never gentleman PS2. The reason why is because you could now that DK has been buffed, you don't want to run into a character that benefits off of PS2 off of you gentlemaning it. Even though it can be yeah. a neutral stage, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're 100% best at the stage rather than your opponent. There's always somebody better than you, right? So you kind of have to be careful of, do I gentleman PS2 or do I actually counterpick? Because sometimes like characters like DK and Snake, they thrive on those stages. So you don't want to give your opponent that advantage right off the start. Yeah, I would just say, gentlemen, any any other stage. Just yeah, any other stage. It's tough too because PS2 has become the staple now compared to you know Smashville. But let's yeah. go right into it. It is going to be the Samus versus this Crom. Hopefully, it's not wrong lever because <laughs> he might have the lag switch on. But he can't have lag switch on if he's off, definitely playing offline. Nice forward right. He's gonna put Crom off the stage. No, I mean still on stage. These guys are just moving. Yeah, this team's having a hard time keeping up. For Crom. At this point of the, at this point of the game, right, he kind of he has the speed to contest against Samus. But one of those things what makes what separates a, Sa a good Samus main from the rest of the cast is, honestly, it's the ability that Samus is always moving, right? As a zoner, Samus is a zoner that always consistently moves, and to catch Samus can be really really difficult because she's consistently moving with things and options that you may fall into here. Yeah, and so I always find like the the best Samus players are doing a really good job of just creating like this uh, obstacle course. That is impenetrable, you know. Right? Yeah, it becomes kind of like a trap master, right? You are falling into a lot of Samus' option there, but I did like the fact that Guts earlier, as we saw him take the stock, he went for a hard whiff punishes, knowing that Samus is love to go for two options off the ledge. It is usually going to be Zare and forward air, so he splits himself nicely for that punish there. I'm letting Doughboy know, man, this ain't Wi-Fi. <laughs> you uh -huh. gotta make sure you're playing the offline game. Oh man, that'd be messing people up sometimes. Oh, so that, I'm telling you. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, he caught him right at the frame before he actually grabs a ledge. Can he get him one more time? But unfortunately, he's too off the mark. Yeah. It's got to be tough for Krom mains to stay on stage. Yeah. And the thing about Krom, too, even though he does have like that, now, not the best recovery, he has really good aerial drift, so yeah, he's still he able to recover from far depths of the stage. Like, he's one of the only characters that I could think of uh, that often utilizes the directional air dodge mm -hmm. to recover. It's a really good part of his game plan. All right, I do see Guts understanding, you know, I have such a big lead here. If it's anybody who's going to be coming to me, is Doughboy, but you have to be ready when Samus approaches you. He, she does have neutral air, which has, a, has two hitboxes, one in front and the back. Whoa. Try to roll away here. Keeping it close. I like the fact that he kind of let go of the ledge a little bit here. This does buy him time to go for that hard forward smash, and he takes care of Doughboy's first stock. Yeah, I feel like um, he's not using as many projectiles. Mm-hmm. And I think he's kind of getting uh, becoming aware of that, Doughboy. Yeah. And he's trying to figure out how to space himself against uh, Guts' his Krom. Yeah, and, and for like for Guts, he kind of understands like he's not going for projectiles. Not only that, it's kind of hard to go for projectiles when Krom is legitimately in your face. Yeah. <laughs> you have no time to go for missiles, super missile or super missile. So you're left with an option of like as you see, he's mm. only going for charge shot, which only buys him that much time. And Guts understands if I give. Doughboy, the ability to start spacing and then get the game yeah. plan that he wants to go for, then I'm going to be the one in the back foot against Samus. Yeah, and that's just like the momentum train. Mm -hmm. You just roll that all the way to the station. This is something that Samus does suffer, is sometimes the rushdown characters and having a disjoint, and not a big of a disjoint as you would expect with Krom, but still a decently sized one. Samus still has to pay respect to it too. And the yeah. fact that Guts understands, you know, I know what Samus' options are from the ledge. I know what the disadvantage state is for Samus, and he demonstrates the right punish game for it. Yeah, and I, one thing I I'll, I play Samus too, like, um, and I really love uh, playing 
projectile characters in a brawlish type of way, mm -hmm. like in your face. And you know, I've learned to like kind of just balance it out. But what I've learned is that like, it seems like you know, a good Thomas also has that kind of like reactionary, like you know, if you get in my space, I know how to react to you and yeah. keep you out. And I like, best one of the best Samus is out there. Actually, two of them. They're pretty close. Uh, I mean, we did see YB at Prime Soccer do, pr oh, do tremendously yeah. well, but he has <laughs> he likes to keep himself in the Wi-Fi scene. Uh, definitely check out Quick. He's uh, he's from Germany. Definitely one of the best Samus around there. I love his Samus play. It is top notch. But Joker from Mexico, also another great Ooh, Samus yeah. main. Yeah. So these are two really great Samus. If you guys are interested to see like how that character is being pushed in the meta game by those two perspective players here. Uh, going on to game two for Doughboy, he has a bigger space to definitely run around here in Kalos. We'll see what he can use to his advantage here. Tries to get a dash attack. I like the roll here to yeah. kind of mix him up here and go for the down tilt. Nice. Looking to keep the zone here. Guts has to play a little bit of respect. He does have time to go in for missiles. Using the Zare to push in slowly. Great spacing for the forward tilt, but this does give Guts the fact that, you know what? I, Doughboy is still in the corner. He pushed himself to a disadvantage. You're sacrificing so much stage for a very small payoff. Yeah. And so uh, what you were saying before, you know, um, they were kind of like testing each other out, spacing everything, and now Prom has all the momentum and he's just trying to, you know, limit every option that Samus can have. Yeah, it's kind of a tug of war. And when you, you let go of that rope a little bit too much, you start to see the fact that your opponent has most of the rope being the stage. It's going to be tough. He doesn't get him in the frame that he got him earlier with charge shot. Nice, Ooh. mixing it up here. Can he get in here with misses the Zara? But I like it. Comes in with a dash attack. He sets up here at the ledge. Can he find the frame? Not once more. I don't know about you, but I feel like it's always good to like try to spike that a B from Crom like from mm -hmm. above. It, yeah, like if, and you have to also be careful too because if you mistime it, like the, the up B will definitely spike you back down. So I do like the fact that Dubai kind of like I'm gonna set a bomb ball so I can mess him up here and hopefully go for a two frame or read the ledge get up option. If that's not working for Doughboy, I would definitely like to see him go for a whiff punish to see how Guts is going to react from the ledge too because we haven't seen yeah. Guts' reactions come out too overly strong from the ledge minus that get up attack. And yeah, it's always so specific when you have to like guard against like a, a sword character and how they're gonna come back. Mm -hmm. It's always very aggressive, and you just have to like not mess up. Like yeah, you have to be really cautious too because like they can come up with an aggressive option or they can come up with a much more safer option. But it also depends like if you think about how Kalos works in the stage here, it is very different edge guarding, having the platforms on the sides. So it's going to be up to Guts and Dobo to figure out, okay, do I go on the platform to read my opponent or do I look at the platform to land on safely? Yeah. And I feel like that's something that Doughboy hasn't been able to use. Even though there are even stocks here, I like the fact that Guts understands I got to make sure I get these jab into aerial confirms and then go for options like that. This isn't going to let Doughboy have the time to even land on the stage. Yeah, that's like, that's, that's the crime I see online all the time. Just a uh, uh, jab to... Uh, jab to raw back air, yeah. jab to up air. Jab to up air is the one thing that can scare anybody, but jab to raw back air is like the one main kill confirmed, too. Yeah. Ooh, that was cool. Oh, that's going to eat the jump. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly what he needed. I like the, I'm looking at Guts here. He's staying pretty composed, and I definitely see that Doughboy understands new. I got this man at even stocks, and I could have this man for another game if I play my cards right. Nice. I like the fact that he reads the, the usual option, the panic jump, when players are left yeah. off stage, especially a player like Krom. They like to usually panic jump right immediately, so he, that would have been a great call out, but he missed the option. He didn't shield that one. Nice. I like it. Let's go of the platform here to come back on the stage. He knows even though Doughboy is on the platform, he's still in disadvantage being in the corner. Nice. This time he used really? the platform to land. Yo, this is some, this is some amplified gameplay that I'm seeing right now. Mm-hmm. He uses his there to come back on the ledge. Mixing it up. No forward air. That's too much of a low percent. Yeah. Not a very safe option. Nice. He's mixing it up here. Yep. He's still is, got the corner to himself. It's not a good it's not a bad position to be in, uh, to mount this comeback. Ooh, back air. Charge shot, I like it. Make, keeping a little bit of time. <laughs> oh that's and it. he sweet wow. spots it at the last second. Guts losing this game here. I like wow. it. Doughboy finally able to treat it off. That was a good stall with charge shot. Yeah. That, this is why I love ultimate. Yeah. It's like I, it's it's never it's sometimes it's never an even game, but I feel like Doughboy finally had the adaptation. And like I said, he kind of mixed up his recovery at one point when he got on the platform, which is one thing you can use when you're in Kalos. Yeah. So I I love, that I, I love that option that some players sometimes do and don't utilize, but it's also up to you to understand they might be going for the platform, which adds another op. Basically, when you go when you jump get up, 
it adds an option to land on the stage immediately via, via a platform. Yeah. So it's up to you to understand if I'm reading jump get up correctly, then they might get on the platform or they might go ahead and go for another jump and overextend themselves. Yeah. That's something you kind of have to factor in. Then no jump and easy edge guard maybe? Yeah. And I'll definitely tell you guys right now, man, Doughboy with the mix-up here. He was wearing the Ivasaur yeah. hoodie, but man is rocking <laughs> Samus. Yeah. Love that sweater, though. Cool color. All right, he's going to go for the side B here. He's going to definitely push a little bit of advantage, gets the stage to himself, trying to look for a jab confirms. Ooh. I'm liking all the grabs that uh, Doughboy's getting now because it's really kind of just uh, neutralizing... You know, everything that's good about Chrome. You know, just don't let him use a sword. Just grab yeah. him. Yeah. And, and if you are able to grab him, what you need to be doing things is like, we kind of saw Doughboy go for early, right? Down throw forward air. That might be the best option. And even it's if it's sand. not down throw forward air, right, you could go for a mix up on your opponent's DI because yeah. you're used to that down throw forward air. So Doughboy knows when yeah. I get a grab, I can either mix it up or go for the usual. Like thinking, you know, you'd want to throw Chrome off stage, but maybe throwing him into the stage will get like more of a DI into a forward air combo onto the stage. Something yeah. Like that. Goes for the side B. Ooh. Nice. Using Zare wow. to come back on the stage. I do like the fact that the Doughboy is going for it because sometimes Kroms don't overcommit off stage. So that'll allow him to get him. He gets him on the frame before the up B and the directional air dodge a little wow. bit too early, but he comes from the depths. Mm. I like it. Guts was so close, but he missed the opportunity. I felt like he was really scared of the charge shot. And that's why we kind of see Doughboy have it. Oh, wow. Oh, that, yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, it's that panic option that happens. Oh, that's, okay, so that situation Forward there, Doughboy went for down tilt simply for because like he wanted to get him on the pop up. But yeah. the problem is, Samus does extend her hurt box for yeah. going for that, and that allows Chrom Sword to actually reach. Right at the buster. Yeah, I'm not seeing like any like uh, up tilts now that I think about it. I feel like a bomb to up tilt on, on the ledge would be kind of, I don't know, like a safe little option. Yeah. You can just run away from Back really throw, cool. I like it. Good opportunity. You get your opponent off the stage, set up for the edge guard immediately. Don't waste time going for the combo. Yeah, I'm I'm liking all the decisions that everyone's making. Seems like a very like a uh, tip for tat exchange. Mm -hmm. The one thing I also like that sometimes I do see Quick and Joker pull off is they don't go for the full charge shot. What they'll do is they go for like a, almost a semi-charge, just a little bit over. That way you don't always see the flashing that Samus has when she has charge shot, and your opponent may actually forget about it in the process of trying to dodge yeah. everything else. Yeah, that mind game is really cool. Um, and it's pretty cool too also that like um, the charge shot when it's not as charged will kind of combo into other things. Mm -hmm. There are some, yeah, there are some charge shot confirms you can do that. I think another player we have here in SoCal, um, in the general region of SoCal, I believe he's 805. We have Indigo, Indigo Knight. Yeah. yeah, I played him yesterday at uh, Newberry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's good. Samus did those. Nice. Couple empty hops here from Guts. Mixing it up here, trying to understand the, the timing up from the ledge that Doughboy has. Doughboy has gotten quite familiar with being at the ledge here, and he's kind of taking advantage of it, but Guts nearly gets the opportunity. He doesn't Ooh. get the back. Oh, oh no! And he loses it there. That Doughboy keeps himself composed the entire time. Yo, that was cool, man. It yeah. was like the whole game, like, it was up in the air and just in two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> and it's kind of